We have a true partnership. Uh, we work with the after school program. Um, we're actually Johnson Middle School Project Lead the Way. And with that program, it allows us to offer an opportunity for an extended day to our students after school. So it provides a safe and secure learning environment to our students while their parents are working. Well, directly after school, they go into what's called enrichment, where they do a club, an activity for the first hour. <clears throat> the second hour, they're in a particular club. So they have the same teacher and it shifts from the club, you know, from the enrichment, uh, which is the club, into homework help. So they're actually able, from the whole time from 4 to 6 p.m., to actually get their homework done and actually get some enrichment activities. Well, we have cooking, we have a cooking club, we have woodworking, um, we also have like math counts and we have our TSA Technology Student Association so that's to name a few of the clubs and students have the choice to join those clubs after school. I definitely think that you're giving back to your community. Uh, chances are if these students are not in an after school program they may incur in, and you may be in other activities that they shouldn't be involved in. Crime, for example, because, you know, idle mind is a devil's workshop. And I look at that as, you know, we need to keep these minds in the right frame of mind and give them something positive and give them options to choose from. Well, they're going through a lot as their bodies change mentally and physically. They have a lot of demands, you know, the requirements that the Florida Department of Education had on me when I came out of school is a lot different than what these students are asked to do in the course exams, you know, exams in middle school to get to the high school. Now they have to take an in the course exam in the civics in order to, to enter high school. So I think the demands on them, so they need that outlet. You know, they need to, to, to be able to connect with friends in an environment that they can trust and with caring adults, you know, to be able to lead them along the way. Because a lot of times they feel that they know everything, but, you know, it's a lot they can learn from adults. So, you know, an after school, a quality after school program can benefit all students, you know, and we're not just separating it to, you know, certain groups of students, but I feel that all students can benefit. They may, be, you know, some of them may be able to just stay for an hour. Some may be able to stay for two hours. But I think where it truly makes the difference is when you're in an environment like myself when I grew up in a single parent home. And I think not having two parents, you know, one that could watch, you know, supervise me while the other parent working and they can alternate. And, you know, if I was needed to stay out to school, then the other parent can pick me up. My mother didn't have that option. What she had to do was depend on the Boys and Girls Club to pick me up and transport me to the club and, and knew that I was in a safe and secure environment. She didn't have to wonder, you know, did I get on the bus? Did I get off the bus? Did I make it to the club? Was I safe when I got there? You know, so she was able to work another job 